Hey, good morning. Jay Custom Bills with another video. I'm going to be swapping these uh, switches on the, the lower fairing panel and I'm going to just knock out all the small things. There's a couple things that I need to finish putting on the bike. And, uh, hey, if you're still interested in this beautiful bike, Sapphire, this 2009 Ultra Classic, go ahead and go to my website and purchase yourself a hat. That will be your automatic entry into the giveaway. If you want a chance to win this girl, they're $125 right now with free shipping. And not only will I ship the bike directly to the winner's house, but I will be there there personally to deliver it to you. I'm excited, man, to see whoever wins this bike. And again, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. So if you like this content and you want to see me build more bikes, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am truly grateful for you guys that have subscribed and for my current followers. I want to do my best, man, to bring you the best content, make some videos that you guys really enjoy. So thanks again, and let's get to it. switching out these uh, rocker switches here on the uh, lower panel just got to take the two side screws you got to take this ignition off in order for this to pop off and then you got to unplug the two plugs that are underneath so stick these in my pocket so I don't lose them that one there and then this right here, it's kind of tight underneath, so I'm probably gonna have to get like a screwdriver or something to, to lift that up. And just like that, we got it off. So what I have to do now is uh, take these four screws off here. One, two, three, four. Pull these switches off, then de-pin this. And there's our new uh, rocker switches. And here are the new switches. And they look pretty dang amazing compared to the others. Okay, so we're talking about this guy right here, the lower fairing uh, switch housing, the rocker housing. So these are the new switches, the spot and speaker and the cruising accessory. And uh, here is the actual connector where the pins are. So these ends right here, you gotta pull these little pins out on the side. Let me take it out real quick. You gotta pull these little pins right here out and then these actually flip up like so. And then you do the other side and they actually flip up like that. And I tried everything to be able to pull these out. There's only one way that I saw how to do it. So I'll show you guys right now how I saw the guy doing it, it actually worked. Hold on one second. I just knocked this out and I'll show you guys how to do it after. But you gotta really pay attention to how these pins pull out so there's a, like a cut down here, like a groove on the bottom because it's pretty square. And so that groove goes facing down on the inside. This one's a groove, that's an old wire. This is the new wire I'm putting in. And you just press it and listen to the little snap. And that's in there. So now I pulled out this black one right here and this black one has a mark on it. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It's like got a stripe, a color stripe on it. And so here's the new one right here. That's not it. It's coming, actually coming from the shorter. Got to pay attention here. It's coming from the shorter one, which is the, man, these things are hard to read. Accessory, and I believe that says cruise. 
one wire is actually marked and the other one, the other black wire is not marked. So you gotta pay attention to that. So this one I already pulled out. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap this guy in here too. So if you guys can actually see what I'm doing, snapping that in, there we go. So we got those three. Now we just need to remove the orange and then the black and the gray and the yellow. So I'm actually doing one side at a time. So this is, this is the bottom, this is actually the top side here, and then there's the bottom side there. And so you got two orange, black, orange, purple stripe, red, gray, or purple stripe. But anyways, I'll actually show you guys how I'm popping these out. So you got, I'm getting them in the vise here, but I'm not actually putting a lot of pressure on it because I don't wanna, I just wanna get enough to be able to tap that out. So the next one that we're gonna get out is this orange guy coming from, from the long wire. See how there's a, a short and a long? So the next one's orange, black, gray, and yellow, and they're all coming from the long end, which is the uh, spotlight and the speaker. So you get a, uh, a flat tip pin here. I ordered these on Amazon. You basically get this inside of the connector. So let's see, this is the next one here, right? And you just tap it and it should come out of the bottom. It doesn't always work. I'll turn it around. There we go. There we go. So this one is orange with the, it's got a dark stripe on it. And let's see here, there's no other orange one that is on the top. So then I'm gonna get the actual orange one that's coming from this longer cord here. I'm gonna make sure that that pin, the groove on the bottom, stays on the bottom. So these actually match, but this color is very faded. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this purple stripe is a lot darker. So I'm gonna go underneath here and I'm gonna snap this baby in. Make sure that groove's facing down, which it wasn't. And there it goes, snapped in. And that's it. So we'll just keep going. There's a black one here from the longer side. I'm gonna get inside of the pin itself. And then I'm gonna tap that baby out. And then we got the next one is the black wire. And if there's a marking on it, I can't see it. But it is coming from this long side. So let's see here. We'll pull these out. These are all coming from the long side here. These are already done. Right, coming from the long one. Yep. And so this long side on this new one here, here's the black one right here. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that the groove is facing in, go underneath it. Might have to remove it because I can't see. So what I'll do is, there's the hole there, it's facing down, snapped it in. And there it is. So here's the older one. And there's the newer one. So now I'm gonna put this back in, get it tight. Just be careful not to put too much pressure on it. So now this is the old one. We have the gray and the yellow. So now I'm gonna get on the gray, stick it inside the pin itself and tap. There was the gray one. Gray with a black stripe. So here's the gray over here. Gonna make sure it's facing in Get that baby inside of there, and there it is, it snapped in. So the last one we have from this guy is, is the yellow. So we're going to get this pin, put it in there, tap, snapped it out, and then here's the yellow, and that was actually the last one. So this yellow is kind of faded, doesn't have a marker, this is the only yellow coming from the long one. Make sure that that groove is facing in. Get that baby in there and let it snap. And now you guys can see that all these new ones are done on the top. So the only one that was going to this on the top was this black one from the shorter switches. So the longer switches are done. Fold those over there. Get this back in there. Oh, wrong side. This actually needs to go underneath, like so. So again, don't squeeze it too tight. 
So now you gotta really be careful because we got a, like three orange wires, a red and black on this side. So let's see which ones are actually coming from all the long ones are done. So these are all short. So we have the same exact colors on this side. So we have red and orange with the purple, which is that one, then black, then orange with just solid orange, and then orange with the red stripe. So let's see what we got. Orange with the red stripe, solid orange, black, orange with a purple stripe, and then red. So I'm gonna pop these out one at a time, and you guys will see. You know what, let's get this red one out so we can get that red one and we'll work from left to right. And to make sure that I'm inside the pin, and that red one should be ready to go now. Nope. Be careful that you don't break the your tool. So I flip the tool around because it's a little rounder on one side. And let's see if it worked. It did not work. Sometimes you have to do it more than once. Let's get that in there. I don't want to put too much pressure on it. So let's just go to this side and start working from this side. There we go. So now we got the orange with the red stripe. So now I'm going to get the shorter one and go orange with the red stripe. Make sure it's facing in. Very first one on that side. And is it going the right way? Hmm. Maybe it's a little too tight. Let me take it out. Is it facing the wrong way? Maybe they both got to face down. Yeah. So they both face toward the cliff. The inside here, there's a little groove. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. There's a groove right there. So the bottom ones were actually facing this way toward the clip, this clip here. And so these ones face the same way. So I just removed the orange with the red stripe and now we're gonna remove the solid orange. I'm actually gonna pay attention to make sure that it comes out the right way. Again, make sure you're right inside there, inside of the actual pin itself. Yep, that one worked. There we go. So yeah, they're facing toward me. So this one's solid orange, so I'm gonna grab the solid orange. That's not solid. I'm gonna grab the solid orange and face it toward me. And I'm gonna pop this baby in there. And there it is, it locked right in. So now we're just gonna remove the black one. Yep, black's coming out. And then here's the new black one. Make sure that groove's facing me. And I like doing them one at a time so you don't get confused because a lot of people, you pop these, a lot of people take pictures of them or they make a little map and they write it down. And uh, that's another way that you can make sure that you get it right. So this one is orange with a purple stripe. So we should have orange with a purple and red with a gray or black. These are the last two, last two we're gonna do here. And then this girl will be done. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that came out, orange, purple orange purple make sure that grooves facing me slide that girl up in there and it is in there so now we just got one left this last one oh there it is got it out it was giving me a little bit of trouble don't want to break that it actually did not come out Get that back in there. Yeah, I got the switches. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my brother back there. You're good, bro. So, for whatever reason, this girl's not coming out right now. That one I'm going to have to do off camera. And just like that, guys, we got all these changed over to the new rocker switches for the lower fairing panel. So I just gotta get this mounted back on here and back on the bike. So here it is guys, with the uh, new switches. As you can see, um, everything is back on. So you basically put this on the same way and make sure that you put 
the keys and the and the top lock back in order. Put everything exactly the way you took it off and then slap the uh, two side bolts or screws back on so that you can uh, get it back on exactly the same way that you took it off. So that was actually the hard part, getting that wiring, the wires out and then the pins done. I had never done a connector like this one before. I'd done all the other ones, but I believe this was the very last one that I had done. There weren't very many videos out there, so I hope this video actually helped you out. And um, if you like the, the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, post any comments that you guys have or any questions that you have, and I'll make sure that I answer every single one of them. All right? May not answer immediately, but I'll definitely get to it when I can. Things are getting a little busy now. And uh, that's the 2010 Street Glide that I've been talking about. And I ended up getting a new clutch cable, and the cable's here. Took a couple weeks to get here. And so now I can put the cable on there and I'm going to get it running, get my first ride on it before I tear it down. And then once I get it tore down, then I'm going to go ahead and have it painted and uh, I will get a video out on that. So getting back to this, let's get this done. Okay, guys. So finally got it back on. Two screws on each side. Got the rubber boots back on it. Um, Got everything back together again, so I'm gonna show you the new, uh, the new switches. Look at that, AC light. Those weren't even, you couldn't even see those on the, the last time. And so we got the spotlights. Let's go check those out. Working perfect. And let's see here. Turn that off or leave that on. And then we got the speaker light. Um, keep that on there. So you see that, you saw that light up, right? Neutral. Then we got the cruise. The cruise switch works perfect. Turn that off. Then we got the accessory light. Perfect. Let's, let's get them all on. So as you can see, all I gotta do is follow those pins. Just do one at a time and uh, You'll be able to do it no problem. And if you do decide to just pop them all out at the same time, all of the uh, the curves go one direction. I guess they all face that uh, button in the very back. And so it's really easy. If you have any problems, uh, you can ask me questions on here. I, I'd love to, to uh, answer any questions that you guys have. But uh, yeah, so spotlights back off and get that back on there and get the cruise, because of course it's not on accessories. And uh, I wanted to actually show you guys the radio too. Well, I don't have an antenna on here, but I believe there is a DVD in here. Is there a DVD in here? No, there's not. Let's uh, grab a DVD so you guys can actually hear the radio. You guys, see that beautiful light in the back? Light. Sorry about that, I live right next to an airport. So let's get this in there so you guys could just hear the CD. I don't want to get copyrighted, so see that working track one. Oh, there we go and the dreamers there it just is. a vessel that must right, I don't want to get copyrighted where it goes see, everything to... i turned it down and we'll just hit the jack button yes i'm a garth brooks there we go all right you guys can see everything works and i'm just gonna put that back on i just got the two uh today the two rings for here and then the other one for my for my bike so as you can see man everything uh looks great so if you, uh, if you like this channel, you like my content, it's my first tutorial. It's not the, the best, but I think it was okay. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, man. I really appreciate it. I look forward to building my channel. And uh, if you're interested in this beautiful bike right here, 2009 Ultra Classic Sapphire Blue with all the goodies, all brand new stuff on it, go to my website. Purchase yourself a hat. That will be your automatic entry into the giveaway. Right now, they're $125. I have free shipping on the hat. The lucky winner is not only going to win this bike, I'm going to actually deliver it in person to your house and hand it directly over to you. And second place is a cash prize. I'm not sure if I could say the amount on here. And third place is actually a cash prize as well. And then I have that 2010 Street Glide that's going to be going up for a giveaway probably at the same time or immediately after. So just let me know. You guys can see I got the road glide cover that back there I always do but that's my 07 ultra I'm uh, gonna be doing a lot more content a lot more ride reviews a lot of writing tutorials on different things uh, I'm gonna be putting that clutch cable on that next 
I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that. And then I'm going to be taking the bike apart immediately after. I want to get it running because I want to get a first ride on it um, exactly the way that it is before I actually tear it down. So, like I said, if you're interested in this channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I look forward to hearing back from you guys. Thanks a lot and have a blessed day.